Welcome to the amazing world of magic. Wow. <laughs> Everyone loves a magician, and they'll love you too. Do you want to be my partner? More than anything. I'm Bert Wonderstone. And I'm Anton Marvelson. But of course, you already knew that. Steve Carell, may I start by getting very personal with you? Yes, I wish you would. I need to tell you that your chest is breathtakingly smooth in this film. It is. Touchably yeah. so. Thank you. You're welcome. So we've seen you go through the process of making your chest breathtakingly smooth in other films, though. It seems like this might have been very painful. No. Actually, I did not go through the same process. This was a shaved chest. As shaved? A shaved. Shaved down with an electric razor. You're kidding me, but it seemed so, it seemed so hairless like that. Very good electric razor. Holy I Moses. I could be doing ads for this electric you razor. You really could. Yeah, I just didn't want to go through the, the, no, the waxing, I'd been through that, obviously. Not this time. Thank God. Oh, okay. Time for my final disappearing act. Where did he go? He has gone to a better place. Goodbye, Rance. He's under the bed. I know. This movie's all about the hair. Right? Your character fared the best in hair yes. choices. Yes. Whose hair are you super jealous of, of the gentlemen who are making very bold choices? I love Carell's Lion Mane. <laughs> it made me so happy every time it was on him or on the mannequin head in the trailer. I would so, just like pet it slowly. That bouffant was just like everything I needed it to be. Worst and, hair you guys have ever had in your lives. Like, what hairstyle have you attempted? I once did a crew cut uh, and it didn't work. I looked like a weird alien with a big nose. John also has a ton of back hair, like just a massive. So I hair. had it grafted <laughs> to my head in the giant bald spot that I have. So Perfect. now it's just like there's a circle of no hair on his back. We're surrounded by hair. That's right. <laughs> I am an aspiring magician. Okay. What advice do you have for me now that you have been the incredible Burt Wonderstone? Um, it's all in flourish. It's all in the presentation. You're distracting people from what's really going on. And you are creating this illusion. They call it sleight of hand for a reason because your hands are misdirecting, your body is misdirecting, your demeanor is misdirecting. Develop your sense of panache. Do you find yourself now doing normal everyday things with that sense of panache like, I'd like three tickets to the movies? No, I never, never, never. It doesn't, it has not, that has not, um, in, in <laughs> Can't even talk. Uh, no, that hasn't become a part of my ordinary life. <laughs> in your enchanted notebook in real life, what is in it? Do you have one? Like a place where you Ooh. keep important stuff? Well, first I had a horror fiction library. Um, yeah. So I was going to be a horror fiction librarian. And then maybe Albert Einstein. And then John Belushi. So <laughs> that was just in your dream journal. Like, I'm going to be John Belushi. That's awesome. Well, I wanted to be John Belushi and Gilda Radner. I wanted to and be that. I wanted to be their baby. <laughs> your enchanted notebook in the film. Mm -hmm. Do you have such a notebook in real life? Now, what's so sad, because it's such a great question, but the answer is no, I don't have a enchanted notebook. Thanks so. for wasting my question, so Steve Carell. So your whole Carell. question is like right out, and if you do have an enchanted notebook, could you tell us what's in it and what your hopes and dreams are? It's like, I don't have an enchanted notebook. This was like notebook. a huge waste of time just now. Just went down Thanks. all dead, and then it just went off the cliff. Why you think they call me Mr. Worldwide?